All right, John. So we're going to try something a little new here on America Reports. We're going to take things out of the studio and off script to show viewers some more of what goes on behind the scenes each and every day here to bring you, the viewer, the news. This week, I go behind the scenes with Martha McCallum as she prepares for the big election night ahead. Hey guys, we're all getting ready for the big night around here. The hallways are busy. Everybody's prepping for the big election night. And we thought we'd stop by Martha McCallum's office to see how Hi. she's prepping for the big evening. Come on Hi, in. Santa. Hey, Martha. How are you? Thanks Good for having us you. in. Thanks for stopping by. I Have know you're seat. super busy prepping for the big <laughs> night, but we thought we'd stop by and sort of ask you oh, yeah. how you're getting ready. Oh, it's good to see you. Me too. Sandra works right around the corner from me, but we're <laughs> always buzzing in different directions, so it's great to yeah. see you. You know, we have an amazing team putting all of this together, and we have even better technology this time around than we have Definitely. in the past, which is yeah. pretty great. I know you've been working out on the board there yeah. and um, pulling up all of these races as well. So, you know, we're going through all of the latest Fox News polls. We're putting it together and crossing it over with a lot of what we're seeing in some of the other polls, including our Fox News voter analysis, which will be a big event yeah. that night when we talk to people who are coming uh, out of the polls and talk to them on the phone, too. So it's, you know what, it's, it's definitely the moment where we've been following these races all along. Mm -hmm. And now some of them are percolating to the top and becoming more and more interesting by the day. I was just looking at Colorado, where yeah. the Senate race is starting to tighten even. Yes. So, um, you know, I, th I think we're we're ready. We're excited and we're ready. I think it's going to be a really interesting night. I know there's a lot of big themes emerging, and I've been talking to the election desk about the enthusiasm they're seeing with some of these races. Uh, one area I know you've been focusing a lot on is the female suburban voter and sort of the trends that we're seeing there. You know what? I feel like I've been covering this group my whole career. I remember the soccer moms mm -hmm. and the security moms. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to see inflation education crime moms this time around. And I think that in some cases, they may not be talking to pollsters, but we had a really interesting poll this week uh, that the Wall Street Journal did that showed a 27 point move from the summer from more liberal to more conservative mm -hmm. in those leanings. So we know that these are things that women prioritize. And I think, I think that's gonna be one of the big stories of the night because they really went with Biden the last time around. Yep. So if now they're shifting to a more conservative stance based on their priorities, you know, how much does it cost when you go to the grocery store? And are you nervous, yep. you know, when your kids say, can I, can I go to the city tonight? People are saying no. That's a great point. And, and that's a big shift. On that note, and we'll get let you get back to your prep here, but one last question. On election night, it's always fascinating because there's some things that can happen early on. Uh, specifically, there can be some races we're watching early on that can give you an early indication of how the night is shaping up for each party. What will you be watching? So it's interesting because that's kind of what we're focusing on today. When you look at these 7 p.m. closed races, and we've got this fantastic iPad technology mm -hmm. now. We've got Georgia, South Carolina, Kentucky, Indiana, Vermont. So those are going to be some of the early ones. And we're going to see indications from some of these house races. Yep. Virginia also is 730. So that'll be uh, just slightly later where you're watching races and you're seeing whether or not they are flipping. And if, if we see some of those in Virginia, for example, if you see one race go from, from blue to red, mm -hmm. uh, that would indicate perhaps yep. that it's a, it's a good night for Republicans. If you see two of them or even three of them, that's going to give us another indication yep. of what the momentum is. But of course, we can't really call anything until there's 52 house races in California, you know, and, and you got to wait till the end of the night to really get a look at what's happening, even though we're probably going to get a strong sense from some of these early races. As it well. is going to be fascinating. Yeah, it it's going to be exciting. We can't wait to watch yeah. you and Brett anchor coverage on Tuesday night. Thanks for letting us stop by. We're always watching you. Thank you. All right. Great to Thanks, have Martha. You. All right. This was a great inside look at the prep being done inside the Fox News hallways and offices. We thank Martha for our time. Thank you, Martha. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.